Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we will be creating the Apple website. I'm going to show you how you can create all these beautiful headers, but also how to add this pink text and also how to create different kind of rows and sections with two different colors. We're also gonna recreate this amazing thing. And of course, we're going to create this beautiful Apple TV slider, which will show you the different slides, which actually leads to real posts you have created within WordPress. All right, let's not waste any more time. We're going to create this Apple website right now. We're going to rebuild this Apple website. What we need is a supercharged theme. Go to wpressdoctor.com slash get divi. And then you get 24 hours, 10% discount on the best theme builder in the world. They also have a, have a lifetime deal, which is actually a no brainer because it is amazing. Unlimited websites for the rest of your life for one time payment. We're going to add a new page with the title called home. First thing we need to do is to see what kind of font they are using. We just go inspect it and then we type in font. And we can see that they are using SV Pro text. I'm just going to download SV Pro Display Font Family from some kind of website. Here we go. The first thing we need is a normal row with a text module. And the text will be iPhone 13. I'm going to make this text a H1. And we go to design, heading text. And we're going to upload a new font. I'm going to call it SV Pro Medium. Upload it. If you now get an error message, please watch my tutorial on how to fix this. And then you can upload any font you want to Divi. And we're going to make it 65 pixels. Align it in the center. Save this one. Then the next one, just copy it. And below is the subtitle, Your New Superpower. We're gonna make this say H2. And they're actually using a different font for this one. We're going to upload it. SV Pro Regular. That's it. And it's 28 pixels and it's also centered. Then we're going to remove the spacing because this one is way closer to the other. So we're gonna change the margin on the bottom to zero like this. Then we have two small buttons. They're not moving or anything, just two buttons. So we're gonna make a new row like this. And we're gonna add a button module. So you can always change it to anything you want. The first one is I'll learn more. We go to design, we go to button. I'm gonna use custom styles. Then the font size is 21 pixels. And then I noticed also that the color is not exactly black as shown here. We go to the pencil icon. We're gonna change the color to this color and they're using it's just not completely black but it's a black then we're gonna save it to the global items because we're gonna use this one more often like this save changes and also on this one we're gonna change the color to our new black and global color then we create a new row over here and we're gonna add two call to actions like this to create that add a new module a button module learn more first we go to alignment gonna align it on the right side then we go to button and use a custom style it's 21 pixels the color is again this one it's a bluish style we're gonna save it to our global colors because we're gonna use it more often then they don't have a background color and we don't have a border around it and the font should be SV pre pro regular and then we're going to show a button icon and it is uh, this icon over there. The icon color is the same as the text. The placement should be right and we want to show it all the time like this. Great. Then we go to border button background. We're going to make it white or else you will see a hover effects and they don't have it on a normal website. And then we're just going to save the changes. We're quickly going to copy this entire module paste it over there we're going to change it go to design alignment change it to the right side 
and the text will be by like this save this one then we go to the row settings because we want to have them more closer to each other we go to design sizing use custom gutter white and we're just gonna put them and we're gonna make them this is excellent we're going to save it and now it looks like it doesn't have been centered below the text so what are we going to do we're just going to add some padding 50 pixels on the left side then we're going to remove the padding from this one go to design go to spacing we're going to add a zero bottom padding and on this row we go to design spacing and also on the top padding we're going to give a zero padding and now it is almost exactly the same as the original then the next thing they have is this beautiful image and then we're just going to copy and paste this image to do that just add a new row like this and then we're going to add a image module over there and we're just going to upload a file and then we're going to paste the alt text hero one static cafe large and then we're just going to save it now oh hold on i got a phone call yep hi tim tim who tim cook what are you saying? People cannot download and use copyrighted images from other people's website? How am I gonna say that to my viewers? Just make a fake phone call so that they know. Okay. While uploading this image, you will notice that the background of this image is actually different than the background of the section. So how do we do that? We just go to the section settings, background, and just add a background image color like this. And then we're going to save this also as a global color because I think we'll be needing this a little bit more. Just save it. And then we can see that the button's background is still white. So we go to the button, button, and we're going to change the background color to just transparent over there. And also with this one, delete the color. Okay. Save changes. The original is just a little bit smaller. So we go to the image, design, and sizing. We're going to make this 80% over there. Save it. Excellent. The easiest way to create the next section is just to copy the entire thing. And then we scroll down and we're going to remove this text. Why? Well, because they have actually cheated a bit. They just added an image. The hero logo watch life. Here you go. And then we're going to design it and align it on the center. And then we go to sizing and the width is 188 pixels like this then we're going to drag and drop this thing below it over there and the text is it's our largest display yet we're going to remove the space on the image just hit the switch and now it's a little bit too close so we go to um, this one we're going to design spacing and we're going to add a little bit of margin on the top 20 pixels and these buttons are exactly the same and then we're going to replace this image by the new image. And then we see something weird because the image is actually in, is actually 2,500 pixels width. Why would you do that? You can actually just... <clears throat> and then we get something like this. I don't know why they created this. And then when we upload the image, we get this. It is just way too big. And also the background color is different. But as I like to say, there's no problem a little Photoshop can fix. We're going to select the objects over there like this. And we're just going to copy them out. We're going to create a new file with a transparent background. We're also going to remove the space between them. And there we have it. And I'm just going to replace this image with my beautiful Apple Watches PNG file, which is just, oh, it's a fairly big, but that's okay for now. Just space it in. Now this looks amazing. However, it is not that big. So we go to design, we go to sizing. I'm gonna make the width even a bit smaller to 40%. This is not the right way to build websites. If you just need a smaller image and you're not gonna use it in your large size, people can't click on it to enlarge it you just need to upload a smaller image and not resize it because the size of the original image will still be this big and then we also have on this section we have 10 pixels margin at the bottom then create a new section well it's just almost exactly the same we're gonna duplicate this section scroll a bit down and then we're gonna remove this image we're gonna need this one so we're gonna press copy module scroll down 
and we're going to add in the module over here paste the module and do it up here and we're going to change it to get supercharged for college and then we go to design we're going to make it italic and also a bit bolder because that's what they have right here and then we can see this beautiful pink color over there and that is this color we're going to just going to add a new global color and it's this one within Diffy there is actually no official way to change this supercharged text to the pink one however you can still do it in this way you go to the text color you just add in any color that you like you go to text and here you can find the actual color we're going to replace this one with the exact same color as apple uses i'm going to save it and now it actually looks really great make sure that this thing is entirely aligned to the center and then we're going to change this save on mac or ipad and then we go to design we go to spacing we're going to remove all the top spacing to zero and then we only have one link which says shop now oh. just so we remove this one we're going to make this row to a normal row and just align this button to the center and then we can see that the background is still doing something and then we just go to the background color and we're going to make it transparent and now it is gone change this image to the one we created change the image to this one we're going to call it a back to school this looks great we're just going to align it in the center like this and it's just a little bit bigger than the other one now here we go it just looks just exactly like the original then the next section is actually two sections so we're going to copy this entire section we go to our rows and we're going to make it two rows we're going to change this text to macbook air push on this icon and we're going to remove this one and it's also just regular and we're going to change the font size to 40 pixels then remove this text and we're going to add an image module we're going to upload the supercharged message because it's a logo promo macbook air whatever upload it we're going to change the sizing we're going to align it on the center and then we see that it's actually only 175 pixels we're going to remove this image because we don't need it remove the entire row and also this shop now now to create this layout what we actually need is a little bit of it looks like just two columns and with just two buttons on it which is actually pretty easy to create so let's just go further add in a plus icon add in an image over there we're gonna upload the mac books and we're gonna add in a text module and the text will be this one and the text will be this one but if i copy and paste it from the website yeah i will get this so you don't want it so i'm just going to copy it as a text and then it's okay then we go to design we go to this one and we're going to change the font to regular we're going to align it in the center and we're going to use a different color the color is actually this one I think we will be using it often so we're going to make it a global color so we can always use it fairly easy and change all the colors in the entire website if we want to do so the text is actually now this the text is actually this or starting on 78 and then we have a pipe with available starting for there. and then we go to design we got a spacing we're going to remove the top margin i'm going to save it and then we go to the image and then we go to design and sizing uh spacing we're going to remove this style and then we're going to add a little bit of pixels like there now now it looks almost exactly the same as the original but this one is a bit big so we go to sizing and we're going to just change it up to make it a little bit smaller like well 50 percent yes that's awesome and then what are we going to do then i think then we need two buttons over there so we're going to change this button drag it to here and we're going to change this button to learn more and then 
we're going to do a little trick because we need two buttons next to each other. And this one is fuel pricing. And they're also a little bit smaller. They also made this one 17 pixels. So on this one. Now, then we're going to need a little trick because these two things need to go next to each other. However, you cannot create a new row in here. There's a trick to do so. We're going to copy this entire thing. Going to delete this one, delete this one, delete this one, delete, delete, delete. Then we're going to copy this entire row again. And then we're going to, and then we're going to delete this one, and this one, this one. So then we have one row with this one and one row with two buttons. Now go to the row settings, go to this column, and you go to the fonts. We go to CSS ID and classes, and I'm gonna give it an ID with inline buttons, like this. Save this one, save it. Then I go to the setting of this page. Then I go to fonts, custom CSS, and then I'm just gonna paste in this little snippet, which has the module wrapper of the inline buttons. The module wrapper should be inline block, and the inline buttons should be aligned in the center. And then I'm just going to save it. And then what do we have? We have a section, we have two other sections, but then these are just in the center, which is actually great. And then we're going to save it, and then we have everything we want for this column. What do we need to do? Of course, we need to make some less space, so we go to the settings of this row, spacing, and we're going to change the bottom padding to zero, like this. And then we're also going to show this section, design, spacing, and then the top padding also to zero. And then we have it exactly like it should. Then how can we just easy copy and paste this to the other side to create to create the iPhone 13 on this way? That's fairly easy. You just go into settings of this row, you just delete this column and press copy. And now we have two columns exactly the same. Do this trick again with the buttons, delete this column and just copy it over there. And also with this one, just copy it, delete it and copy it. And then we have this one, and here we can create iPhone 13 Pro. When I started creating this tutorial, I actually had a vacation. So now when I want to pick up again, as you can see, what did they do? Now they've changed their website. Well, no problem at all. We're just going to fix this. If you want to get this side of the section black, we have to pull some little tricks. Because what we did over here is we have created different rows, as you can see that. Well, there's one way to change that is to change the rows. You can actually go into the rows, go into your second column, go to your background and make it black, for example. However, this is what you get. So what I propose is we go to the section settings, we go to background and we're going to add a gradient so that this gradient should be normal white, this gradient should be the black. And then we're going to make the direction 90 degrees and we're going to stop it in the center 50%. Like so. And now you have the exact same effect, but it is 50% white and 50% black. And now we can just change this one to MacBook Pro 13 inch. And the color of this is just normal white. And that is actually a image. So we're going to add a image over there, upload. Our, and we're going to use this image. Go to design alignment. We're going to align it in the center. And then you can see that the text is actually not in the center of this image. So we're going to go to this image. We go to design. We go to sizing. We're going to make this a bit smaller. And as you can see, this blue is actually a lighter blue than this blue. So we're just going to copy this color. We go into here. We go to design. We go to button. We're going to change the text color to this one. Oh, hold on. That's not the way to do it. First, you go to a normal blue. And we're going to change this to a lighter blue like this. And we go to global and we're going to add this light blue to a new global color. Save it. We're also going to use it over there. Design, button, global, light blue. 
save it. And I'm gonna add in the image. The MacBook Pro 13 inch over there. Oh, go to design, we go to sizing and remove the width. Move it a little bit to the right side. We're going to do this with a little bit of spacing on the left side. Make it 25 pixels. That's excellent. Right. So now we have this page which almost looks exactly the same as the original. The only difference is, is that these text and the images are more to the center than these text. How can we change that? Well, you go into the row settings, go to design, you go to sizing, you're going to use a custom gutter white. We're going to add some little more. We can add just a little bit more gutter white of four, but well, it will matter a little bit, but not very much. However, it is nice. So let's do it like this, right? That's a little bit better. Now, of course, to create the other one below it is really easy. Just copy this entire section over there. And then when you scroll down, you can just change all these text. Like so they actually use the image over there. So we're going to delete this one, use this image, upload file. We're going to use this one. We're going to duplicate this again. I deleted it, so change this to it's our largest display yet. Well, let's not make it a heading, let's make it a paragraph. But of course, we are going to change this to the center. <laughs> All right, then the next section is exactly the same, but now we have a background image, which we can easily recreate. Just copy this entire section and we scroll down and we're just going to delete the images because we don't need them. They also don't have a call to action like this. So we're actually going to delete the entire row. Yes, why not? And then we have to change the background. So how are we going to do this this time? Because we have two sections, uh, but this time we can do it differently. We can use the sections. So we go to the sections, we go to design, we go to sizing. We're going to make this with 100% over there. Then you go to content, you go to the first column, you go to background, and we're going to upload a background image. And the image, here, the first one is the parks over there. And then the second column, you go to background image. We're going to use this one over there. That's it. Go to again to sizing. And then we're going to make the max width also 100%. And then we're going to change the gutter right to one. Save this one. Then you go to the background of the section. Background, remove the gradient we have created over there. Remove the background color like this. Then we go to design, we go to spacing, we're gonna give it a, oh, this is okay. But in a row, we go to design spacing, we need to give it a zero margin and a zero padding because of the background. Let us first add the content in, and then we're gonna set all the spacings right. So the first text in here is we are donating $10, right? We go to design, we go to text, we're gonna make it white. Then we also go to sizing because the size of this is very small and we're gonna place it in the center. And then we're gonna look at how much National Park made at, yes, this is excellent. A little bit bigger because 28 has to go next to it, like this. The sizing is good, the spacing is good, all right. Then we're gonna save this. And then we also have one button called Shop Now and we have Title. So we're going to land this button over there and we're going to move this one to here again. Then we're going to change this to shop now. And we're going to do the design button and make it white. All right, save this one. Then we only need a title. Well, let's just land a title from the MacBook Air over there. Just drop it here. We're going to change the title to Shop with Apple Pay, support our parks. Oh, let me get it. And then we go to make it white again. And this is great. Then we go to spacing. And then we're going to make the bottom a little bit closer to the other one. Minus 10. 
Great. We're going to create the other one. In the other one, what do we see? We see some text. So we're just going to copy it and place it over there. Watch Lucom's live performing on August. Go to design, we go to sizing. We're going to change this just the way we want it. And if you don't like the way it's been broken, then you can just press enter and then it's also good. Go to sizing again, make it a little bit bigger like this. Excellent. And then we also see a little button over there. We're going to drag it over here. And the button is learn more. And then we also see that not only the text, but also the icon is another color. So we go down and we go to the icon and we're going to make it white. We're going to do that also with this one. So we go to design, we go to button and we scroll down and we're going to make the icon white. Now this is great. They also have a image up there. And that's the logo. We go to design, we go to alignment, we're going to center it in the middle. And then we're going to drag and drop it over there. But now we have to give it some spacing. There is space below it and there's space between it. How are we going to do that? Well, first of all, you go to this the, the column, and then you go to design, and you go to spacing, of course. And on top we have a little bit of, uh, let's say, 50 pixels. And on the bottom we simply have 500 pixels. Let's put it on 350. And then you also go to this rows because they don't align. So you go to design, you go to sizing, and then we're going to press equalize column heights. And this is what I mean, way better. Then we go back to content. We go to this, oh, we go to the second column. We go to design, go to spacing. We're going to give it a top margin of, a top padding of 100 pixels. And then we also see that there is some text here. We can delete it. Then we go back to design, spacing, and let's place it over there like 30 pixels. Great. And then we can go further to change this text. We go to design, we go to spacing, we're going to give it a top margin of 350 pixels. Now, while changing this in pixels, you always have to remember how does it look on my mobile phone. Well, I'm going to show you what happens when you use these pixels you get very big images, but they actually look really great. Well done, it almost looks exactly the same as the original. Then we can see that the spacing over here is just too big, so we go to we go to design, we go to spacing, and we're just going to give it a, and also on the bottom a zero, so now it looks really neat. The last thing on this homepage, except for the footer, is this beautiful slide. So this is actually pretty easy to create, it's actually just a slider or you can use blog posts and use it that way. So let's say you want to recreate this slider thing. Well, of course you can just create a normal slider, which would just slide this way, but it's more fun to create actually real blog posts behind it. So we're not going to use a slider, but a blog post slider. And for that, we can actually use a full width section with the post slider, full width post slider. Like this. And then we're going to use categories. We have to create one because there is nothing in here. So, so I go to my dashboard, I go to my posts, I go to categories and I'm going to add a new category which is these things are Apple TV Plus. Well that's excellent. We're going to add a new category like this. Now it has been added. We go to posts and we're going to add a new post. And the first one we're going to call Bad Sisters. But the most important thing of the post is, except for the content of course, is your featured image. If you want to show your image on screen like we saw, you have to use a featured image over there. So we're going to set our featured image and we're going to upload it. And they just use normal files so we can just use it also. And now it's there and we press publish. Uncheck this button and now it is live. All right, let's go back to WordPress. We're going to add a new post and we're going to call it Luck. Set featured image, upload your file, and we're gonna publish it. It's been published, and we're gonna create a new one. And it's called Blackbird. Set our featured image. Here we go. We're gonna set it, and we're gonna publish it. And let's do one more. 
And the last one is Dead Lasso. And I'm gonna publish it, and there it is. All right, then we have all these posts over here. Let's get back to our page. We have to refresh this page because the category we just created has not been loaded into Divi yet. So just press F5 on your keyboard, leave page, or you just have to save it before you leave it. And now we can go to A. Now we can see something. This is very nice. We click on module settings. I only want to see the Apple TV Plus category. Oh, I didn't place anything inside of this category. My bad. Go to your posts and then you're all gonna click all these things and we're gonna edit them in bulk, apply, and you can change the category to Apple TV and press update. Now they're all updated to the right category. And now when I refresh my page, we'll see that this just works really awesome. Now the original website has a little bit of a different design. On the sides, it is just this way and it slides. You can create this, however, you would need a different plugin to create this kind of a carousel. I've created a video about the Diffie carousel, which works really awesome, uh, but you have to buy it as a premium plugin. However, it's well worth your money. Uh, we're not going to use it right now because this tutorial is already getting way too long. So what are we going to do? We're just going to use the normal version. But we are going to create this button. Now, how does it work? Well, we go to the settings of this module. We're going to place the date all to new. So now we have the same order of all the files that we've just created. And then we're going to add the button will be stream now. And we're going to change the button. So we go to design, we go to button, and we're going to use custom styles. For example, the size should be way smaller, like 17. The text color is the dark black and the bottom background should be white and then we scroll down and then we have the border width there is actually no border in our button but we do have however a radius of let's say for the font they're using the medium font and then they also have a button and the button is this and now i want to place the button on the right side it's going to be black and I want to show it always, just like this. But maybe they also have the same arrow. Yes, I think so. It is this one. This looks almost exactly the same. Then the alignment should be over there. We're going to change it. The margin. Well, we need some mm, bit more padding on the right side and left side so that we get a bigger button. Amazing. This looks not, not bad, the button is actually really good. That's the, bu the button. Now, if we now go to the title, I actually don't want to show the title on this module. How are we going to change that? Well, it's pretty easy. Just go to content, go to elements, and I don't want to have the post meta. The controls over here, well, they're actually pretty nice, so let's keep them. And then the arrows, we also want them to have on the side so that we can navigate through the slider. Then I don't want to show the title. So there are two ways to do this. Of course, you can make the title just transparent and then we only have to remove the shadow. But you can also go to Advanced, Custom CSS, and you scroll down a bit and then you have to slide the title and you can just simply type in display none. Now it is gone. And if you now go to your button, we can actually place the button on the left uh, on the lower left corner. So you can just go to position and type in. And then we're gonna type in left 20 pixels like this. And then we can do bottom 10 pixels and then it's over there. But let's make it 50 pixels like this. And the left side, I want it more to the left side. So we're gonna make it a negative margin, oh, negative margin of 20 of 50 pixels. Now this is actually pretty nice. It almost looks exactly the same. Then the image is way bigger. So we go to design and we go to spacing and I want some more. And then we're gonna change the padding on top to give it the whole thing more space. And let's give it more space of 500 pixels so that we can actually read 
the titles of all our images. And of course, you can make it even bigger if you want it. Well, this looks really great. I just want to go to design and we go to animation and I want an automatic animation. We're going to give it five seconds and then it's just going to automatically move. So this looks almost exactly the same. Again, if you want to recreate this entirely, watch my other tutorial. And then we have, of course, two things that we just didn't cover. That is the header, the menu over there. We're going to recreate it really easy. And then the footer. Let's first create the footer. We're going to save our page and then we're going to our dashboard. In the dashboard, you go to Divi theme building. In the theme builder, you can create anything you want. It is powerful and so flexible. It's amazing. We're going to add a global footer over there. Build global footer. The first thing we need is the background. The background color of this entire section should be our broken white. Save changes. Then we're going to add a row. And the first row is just a simple text module. And in this text, we have this amazing text of Apple, which is all good and very important stuff. So we definitely need this, but we're going to style it. So our style in design will be our font will be the regular, but it's, it's really tiny with a font size of 11. And then they also have multiple spaces. And then we're going to add a divider over there. The divider is shown. The line color should be our black. And we'll actually make it gray. I'm going to make the divider weight one pixel. And then, but then I also want to change the color because they're using a really soft color. So we're going to go with white and then we're just going to make it manually. Then we're going to create a new row. In this row, we have five columns. And in this columns, well, you might have guessed it. We're going to create a text module. And the first one is, of course, shop and learn. Again, the text font should be our medium this time. The color should be great. And the size, 12 pixels. Yes, that's small. All right, save it. And we're just going to copy this one. And we're going to change it. And what I'm going to do is just copy paste all the links from the original website. Then you get these and they're all clickable. So that saves us a lot of time to make them ourselves. However, if you look at the, at the text, it's just a mess. So we're going to make this way better. Paste in as text. Then we go to this one and we're just going to make it to a regular. And the color should be this one over there. All right. This is way better. Save our changes. Now, if you want to create the entire footer, what is way easier is just to duplicate this column to make it five times. And then you just save it. And now we can just change everything the way it should. And when you're finished and everything looks the way you want it, you can press save. And then we're going to press exit. And then we're going to save changes again. And now when I open up my website, this is what I see. Hmm, this is weird. No, it's not. It's just the way WordPress works. We have to change it. So we go to our dashboard. We go to our settings and we go to reading. Oh, there it is. And we're going to... Your homepage displays a static page. It will be our homepage. Save this one. And now we have recreated this entire Apple front page. We also have the slider that works and we have the beautiful footer over there. And it's the footer works on every single page. And then we only have to create the header. Go back to your theme builder, add a global header, and we're going to build a global header. Now the header on the Apple website is really easy. It's just black, one image, an alt text, a search icon, and a card. Really easy to recreate. The first thing we do is we go to the settings of the sections. We go to the design, we go to the spacing, and we're going to change the top and bottom padding to zero. Then we go back to the background. And we're going to add the global background, which is this one. So now we're going to add in a row, of course. And in this row is our menu. And the menu we have to create because we don't yet have a menu. And we're going to save this, close this one, 
save and exit and then we go to appearance we go to menus and we're going to create our main menu like this you don't have to check this box but if you like you can do it well, what do we have inside of this menu well we're going to create custom links the first one is the apple logo how are you going to do this well the url is just your home page and the text should be html which is image source is and then comes your media file go to the library and then i'm going to copy url to clipboard and then i go back to my menu and the image short is this one like this and we're going to add it to our menu it doesn't look much now but later on you will see what it does go to custom links and add in any link you want there and then we're going to save the menu then we go back to Diffy, we go back to the theme builder we go back to our global header and as you can see now there is everything we've created what do we have to do well of course the first thing we have to do is change the background i'm gonna just delete it and then we can see hey our logo is also there amazing just go to design go to menu text we're gonna make the active link color white and the menu text color also white then we're going to change the size of this thing it is not very big and the font should be regular and also gonna be i think it's gonna be 40. then we go to advanced we go to we go to custom css because there's a lot more spacing on the original website so we're just going to type in at the menu link uh, margin right should be 45 pixels oh that's a little bit too much i think so let's make it 35 and the apple logo is not the way i wanted it to be because of the file i've added but there's also another way just go into your menu and in your menu you go to logo and we're going to add a logo image of apple it's also a way to do it and now it is centered wow and we're just going to save it and we're going to remove in the menu we're going to remove this thing let's save it go back to Diffy, theme builder go back to your global header and now you can see that the logo is only one time there and this is the way it should be so this is really excellent don't forget always to go to your link and press the logo link url to make it a slash so that you can always return to your home page then you can see that it is way too big so we go to the row settings design spacing and we're going to change the padding to zero the top and the bottom padding this is way better save it save this entire thing then we go to menu text and we're going to align it in the center Press save save it and then we're going to close this one and then we're going to see how it looks on the front end oh we forgot to make it sticky it looks very nice but it's not sticky when i scroll nothing happens so we go back to the global header we go to our section we go to scroll effects and we're going to stick to top so this looks really nice but what i miss is actually that it's transparent so we go back to our global header so we're going to make it a bit transparent we go to background and we go to our, our color and we're going to make it like this save it save it so now you know how to create the apple front page just with wordpress and divi if you have questions or you just want to say hey thank you matt drop them down in the comments and i will always reply because i love you guys and if you want to see more videos about divi and wordpress just hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next video have an awesome day ciao